The Americans searched around among the haystacks with a hatchet and split the children's heads open. In this way, there were over 40 women and children butchered. The towns of Marysville and Honey Lake paid bounties for Indian scalps. Shasta City offered $5 for every Indian head brought to City Hall. Some 150,000 Indians in California before the 49ers came. By 1870, there would be fewer than 30,000. It was the worst slaughter of Indian peoples in United States history. So we sugarcoated the, the truth. And we didn't tell you that the United States government, the feds paid 1.1 million and more when 25 cents probably bought you a lot because that's what they started, the price of a scalp. You could take it to any courtroom in Northern California and for 25 cents they'd give you, uh, you, you would give them a scalp. And California paid out about $400,000 to the Indian killing militia and to the bounty hunters. This is the images of the true Japhetic people that's mentioned in the book of Genesis, ninth chapter. This is how they looked before Esau spread his seed as it was prophesied in the book of Daniel, second chapter. 42nd and 43rd verse. I'll leave that precept at the very end. But this is how they look. They have woolly hair. And these are what people call the Chinese. This is how the Chinese, original Chinese look before Esau spread his seed. They have woolly hair just like us. And these are one of the, the children of Japheth, one of the son, children of Noah. Uh, as it was prophesied, they would be enlarged, meaning they will be many. And they're the most populated people on the planet to this day. Okay, so, yeah, they don't look like this. They look got Esau features <laughs> because, like I said, the prophecy, as the scripture said, prophecy had to be fulfilled. And Daniel 2, Esau, when he came into power, he spread his seed literally everywhere. So he literally effed everybody, every nation, if you get my uh, drift. And this is what the Edomite woman is not going to tell you. No, these are not no Gadites, so y'all can get that out your mind. These are Japhetic people, and there's a video uh, I'm trying to find. I'll put it at the end, or I'll link it, where Obama gave out reparations to them and didn't give it to our people, and he, he didn't acknowledge it because, you know, this is the time of the Gentiles anyway. So, yeah, they got reparations on them reservations. Those are uh, 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 Japhetic people. Uh, yeah, these are mongoloids, Chinese, whatever you want, you know, name you want to use. Okay, that's those people. Uh, they came over here in 900 AD. Okay, 900 AD, as mentioned in this book here by Gavin Menzies. Okay, this was like they second or third with that 1421. So, no, that's not their first time. They've been in these shores of Babylon, America, North Central South America a long time. Uh, it's more history on it. Check it out. Shalom. Yeah, real quick. I found the video where he's Obama give reparations to the um, Japhetic people and they didn't acknowledge the so-called Negroes in America of uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, the Bible speaks of. So the video is coming out right after this image. So look for it. Shalom. Why not target the African-American community? Why not say then, this is for you, this is for African-Americans. If, if there was a banking crisis, then you target money for the banks. If there was a national disaster, you target, uh, you target your money for the national for, uh, no, 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 for disaster that, that's, relief. That, 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 that's, not how, uh, that's not how America works. We want to give those young people and young Native Americans like them the support they deserve. We have to invest in them and believe in them and love them. Why not target? the African-American community. Why not say then, this is for you? That's not how America works. President Barack Obama has begun new initiatives aimed at helping young American Indians or Native Americans overcome the many challenges they face, from poverty to substance abuse. Why not target the African-American community? That's not how America works.
and few have been more marginalized and ignored by Washington for as long as Native Americans, our first Americans. Not all America works.